Welcome back everybody to the Crypto Ellis channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the most anticipated cryptocurrency projects, Chain Games. Chain Games is the first ever cryptocurrency project to launch on the TrustSwap launch pad. I mentioned it in yesterday's video, my top five altcoins for long term hold. I told you I'd make a more in depth video on this project, so here we are today. Before we go any further, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're always notified every time I upload to the channel. I'm not a financial advisor so please always do your own research. I'm not partnered, affiliated or paid by this cryptocurrency project. So what is Chain Games? Play against live players and win cryptocurrency. So they're going to have peer-to-peer -peer multiplayer battles, instant payouts so you're not going to have to wait around for your payouts, stats, achievements and friend lists and they're also going to have a blockchain integrated wagering system. This is going to be available on Android, Mac OS, Windows and Linux when it does officially go live and their first ever game is going to be Super Crypto Cart but they will be able to integrate the wagering system into bigger games like Call of Duty, FIFA, Madden and all of the big games that you can think of. But I believe this game right here will get a lot of people coming to their platform especially from the cryptocurrency space because on these carts they're going to have different cryptocurrency logos so like Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple, also the drivers of these cats are going to be the cryptocurrency founders of these different projects. So a lot of fanboys will come and play this game because they will want to beat the other cryptocurrency projects. Also, they can win cryptocurrencies while playing this game. And imagine if this game was to take off exactly like CryptoKitties did, this platform will get a lot of visitors and the token holders of Chain Games will be very happy because you need the Chain Games token to actually wager on these different games. So a complete gaming ecosystem in three categories. These are the two that really take my eye. So open Dapp Store, any developer can integrate the Chain Games wagering system into their game. After uploading their game, developers can earn a share of 3% from each match. So a lot of developers that are making games will want to come to this Dapp Store because they will make more money. And then they also want to integrate with gaming studios. So imagine if Chain Games was to integrate with EA Sports, who are behind The Sims, they're behind FIFA, they're behind Madden. Or imagine if they were to integrate with the studios behind Call of Duty. That would be absolutely huge and it would be beneficial for the studio because they would make more money and it'd be beneficial for Chain because Chain will get more publicity. Also, the Chain token will have a lot of people buying it because they will need it to use on their platform. And they can also get into the streaming industry. So if you didn't know, over on Twitch, a lot of people stream games and some people get like 10, 20, 30, 40,000 people watching them stream different games. So Chain can go to these streamers and say, hey, do you want to stream our new game? We've got a cool new wagering system. They'll say yes, because Chain will probably offer them some money. Um, and then Chain will get a lot more people coming to their platform because these people will be watching the streamers play it. And then they will go and download the game because the streamers are playing it. The same with um, gambling people over on Twitch and over on YouTube. They stream themselves playing poker and stuff. So Chain Games can go to them and say, hey, we've got this cool new wagering system over on our new game. Do you want to show it to your gambling community? And then that will make a lot of people come and play the Chain Games games and come over to the Chain Games platform. So the token's got a lot of use cases. So all entry fees and contest payouts are gonna be with the token. Staking rewards, 1% of the chain token is going to be used as transaction fees and it will be burnt. Governments, so they're going to have like a government over on their platform. And basically, this means the amount of tokens you hold, the more you get to vote on what happens on the platform. And then 500 million is the token total supply and 275 million is going to be the initial circulating supply. And then the tokens will get burnt with the more transactions on their platform. So this is the roadmap. This is the one that caught my eye over in the first quarter in 2021. They are moving from Ethereum over to Cosmos and they're doing this so they get no fees and faster transactions. And then in the third quarter of 2020, this is where we are right now. The ILO and launch is going to happen. So the initial liquidity offering, the main net wagering contract and the super crypto cart launch. And then in the fourth quarter, they're going to release their first ever first person shooter launch 
Chain Games F SDK release and the custom Chain Testnet launch. And then they're going to have a Chain Marketplace where the DAP Game Store launches, the third party dev onboarding, and the Chain Mainnet SDK release. And this is super excited right here. In the third quarter of 2021, they're going to have something called Chain D Sport. So they're going to have fantasy sport wagering, and this is a really, really big industry. They're going to have an esports tournament set up. Again, that's an absolutely huge industry right now. And then they're going to have the first sports title launch. So this is a very exciting time. I know it's quite far away. It's almost like a year away, but this will be a very exciting time for the chain games platform. But I believe all the things they've got coming up on their roadmap are very, very exciting and can make the price of the token go up. Then if you want to have a more in-depth look on their roadmap, they've got everything over here and I can't obviously read all this in the video otherwise the video would go on too long I will leave the website link down below in the video description so the team at the moment the public team is Adam Christina and Jeff so they do have a bigger team than this but a lot of the people don't want to be public on a website because it is the cryptocurrency space so at the moment only Adam Jeff and then Christina are the public faces of this platform but I had the same worry that you're probably gonna have right now you're probably looking at this and thinking only three members for the team I went over to the telegram I asked Adam is the team bigger he told me the team is bigger but people do not want to be public because it is the cryptocurrency space but he did tell me a few team members will be going public onto the website very very soon so Jeff is the founder of TrustSwap as we know because I do a lot of TrustSwap videos so he has got a lot of knowledge and Adam is a expert in the cryptocurrency space because he's been in the cryptocurrency space for a long time so the ILO, so the liquidity offering, will start at a market cap value of 2.75 million. After the ILO begins, purchasing chain is designed to be more expensive over on Uniswap. So the first ones that get in via the ILO will get the best rates, and that's that in four days, nine hours, 16 minutes. All you gotta do is come over to the website, click buy on Uniswap once the timer goes down, and then you will be able to buy the token. So the token price is going to be one cent in the ILO and after that it should go up. Also the pre-sale is going to be happening as well but the pre-sale right now is oversubscribed so you will not be able to get into that. So that is why I haven't really mentioned that in this video and the pre-sale is going to be the same price at one cent. And then the tokens so 55% is going to be going to the initial liquidity offering. The team supply is going to be 25% and then the marketing development legals and bounties is going to be 20%. You can also find them over on Telegram and over on Twitter as well. And this is the TrustSwap Twitter, but if you go over to the um, Chain Games Twitter, you can find them over on Twitter. But this right here shows to you that you will still get airdrops from holding TrustSwap. So if you're holding TrustSwap, you will get 2% of the total supply of Chain Games airdropped to the trust swap token holders and you'll only need to hold 1000 swap tokens to be eligible for this airdrop so it's not 10,000 like the previous airdrop this time it's only going to be 1000 swap tokens to be eligible for the chain games airdrop i believe this chain games platform is going to absolutely take off especially with the hype that trust swap has just recently had and is still having right now a lot of that hype will go over to chain games a lot of people will see what trust swap has just done and they will think that chain games can do that and chain games definitely can do that in my personal opinion so where do i believe the price is going to go so it's going to start off at one cent i believe within the first week we can easily see it go from one cent to around five to ten cent and then before the end of the year, we could easily see it go to around 30 to 40 cents in my personal opinion. And 2021 is the year I believe Chain Games is gonna absolutely take off. And I believe we could easily see it get to around the $1 mark in the year 2021. If you've got any more questions on Chain Games, leave them down below in the comment section or go over to their Telegram, which I will leave down below as well in the video description. And they are usually on there and they can answer your questions pretty much instantly or within 10 to 20 minutes of you asking a question over there because they're very very helpful over on the telegram let me know down below in the comment section what you think about chain games are you going to be getting in to the chain games pre-sale if you've already subscribed to it if you're not are you going to be getting into the chain games ilo so the initial liquidity offering let me know down below do you like this project do you not like this project what do you think of trust Wab as well let me know all of that 
down below in the video description. Where do you see the price of chain games going? Let me know that as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you're always notified every time I upload to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day wherever you are. I'll see you tomorrow for another daily upload.